Okay, today on the Jantic Journal, we go over porting the heads for a GX200 clone and a Predator Hemi, and how to break your window doing it. Uh, like the last video said, we got the GX200 clone head jigged up on the uh, bridge port. We're going to shave that down, 46 thousandths or so. Uh, we're not going to show too much about that. We talked about it last episode. Uh, but after this, we're actually going to get into porting the heads a little bit. So uh, I'll get back to you when we're done uh, shaving this head down. So yeah, we just took the uh, head out of the out of the mill right now, just doing a CC test. As you can see, sometimes you gotta work with it a little bit to make sure you're filling the bubble. Otherwise, if the air bubble is on the opposite side of where you're filling, it just overflows and you gotta start all over again. We've obviously done that before. Alright guys, so what we did, we just took the GX200 head off of the bridge port. Took about 45 thousandths off of it. Um, I got down to about 15.2 cc's, well, it was 19.2 before, uh, we worked out some numbers, it should be around 10.2, 10.3 to 1 compression ratio now. Um, just wanted to point something out, um, we did talk about my GX200 clone being an older motor, obviously they changed the head design too, if you look here on the Predator head, we shaved about 25 thousandths off and still have a lot of meat left on the head surface that's going to bolt to the engine um, but then if you look at the GX200 head that I have after planting about 45 thousandths off it's kind of a all flat surface I don't know if that's normal um, it might be something normal from an older head design I've never worked on the newer head design so I'm not sure uh, feel free to let us know if that's something you guys have run into or whatever um, but what we're going to get into now is actually porting the heads and uh, for those of you that don't know, we're just going to pretty much be taking the sharp edges off of the casting where the valve guides are. Uh, we already got everything set up for that. Um, we're kind of trial and erroring this. Mike has done a little bit of head work on uh, Briggs Flathead. Because I'm sure you noticed in the videos he races lawnmowers. So he's done a bit of uh, head work to that. So this is going to be the first time we're porting an overhead valve motor. So hopefully it works out good and we'll let you guys know. Okay. What are you thinking? Well, well the GX200 head, it's it's a bit out of angle. I'm getting pretty good with it. I'm definitely smoothing the hard edges. I don't know if the camera will see in there. I doubt it. We'll give it some light. I don't know if you can really see it. Uh, we did take some before pictures, so we'll be posting those so you can maybe compare and we'll yeah. take after pictures. It wants to focus on the guide. Let's see if we can get anything in here. Yeah, probably not. It's probably a little hard to tell, but we just started, so hopefully when we're done, it'll be a more dramatic transformation. Just doing the exhaust now. The intake came out pretty good. We'll show you uh, after. Just did the exhaust. I'm doing the intake now. Just did the exhaust. <laughs> doing the intake now. Yeah. I was thinking these metric heads are reversed, but I guess they're they're not. So okay, hey, we'll show you the next step. You know one thing we can do, since everyone's what's, watching on YouTube. What's that? Birthday shout out for Scott and Rachel. Birthday shout out for our two uh, guests in the Both Jantic their Journal. Both birthdays, and they came by to hang out at the Jantic Journal. <laughs> yep. May Hey guys, what's going on? I just finished pouring the head on my GX200. Uh, came out pretty good. So uh, we're just going to check in on Mike real quick, see how he's making out on his head. I think he's doing the intake side right now. How's it coming out, Mike? It's alright. Yeah, I did the, I did the other side with the air tool, just kind of clean it up in here with the Dremel. I might have nicked it, but I don't know. I hit something with this part. Should lap out though. So right now I'm just in here with some little files. I have a round one, the flat one isn't really too useful. 
just clean it up a little bit where the other one couldn't get, where the uh, Dremel and the air tool couldn't get. Um, I don't know if we went over, I know we mentioned it a few times, the, how we polished the heads. And the reason we polished them is when they're not polished, it might be hard to see, but they have a more porous surface, like over here. And, um, you know, that can attract carbon. Carbon will stick to it more. Um, if you have carbon in your cylinder head, more likely you're going to have a hot spot pre-detonation. So uh, that wouldn't go well with the high compression we're trying to run here. So, yeah, we polished them. Hopefully carbon doesn't stick. And, you know, if it does, you know, we didn't really waste anything. It didn't cost anything to do it. Just a little bit of sandpaper and some time. So today we uh, did some porting on both of the heads, the GX200 and the Hemi, as well as skimmed the head down on Joey's 50 thousandths. Um, so you saw some of how we did the porting. Uh, I'll show you some of the tools we used. Uh, just a basic Dremel with a sanding drum. Uh, we used just the Dremel to get inside, the inside radius. And then we used the, an air tool with a cone bit. Uh, another sanding disc, a cone drum, to um, come in here and relieve around where the valve guides are. So I mean, we don't, you know, we don't have like a flow bench or anything. We don't get too involved in in the in the actual radius of it. But we basically just took the sharp edges off. Uh All right, so as Mike had just said, we just finished all that. Uh, one thing about the air tool. So what we did is we bought this pack of sanding cones, and it came with these two bits. Um, you heard me mention breaking the window at the beginning of the video. Basically, this used to have a two-inch shank on it. And I don't know why it happened, but I don't think I'm ever going to buy these from Harbor Freight again. Mike was porting the head, and we didn't have the camera rolling for whatever reason. And it was on the air tool. And if you come over here, that shank from that air tool put a hole in our window. So now these mini bikes are going to cost us a new window. But uh, other than that, next time on the Jantic Journal, we're going to be putting the bottom ends and the entire motor together.